Amid the pandemic, lots of folks headed to drive-in theaters, both established and impromptu, all over the Southland to enjoy a socially distanced movie. But few got to rub rub elbows with, Machete, himself, Danny Trejo. But the event on Friday evening, May 14, at Santa Anita Park in Arcadia, was no ordinary movie night. The movie Tough Guy, author, restaurateur and humanitarian got to step into the spotlight for one of his favorite causes, North Hollywood-based Cree Help, a substance abuse treatment organization celebrating its 50th anniversary this year. The organization honored Trejo with its first Vanguard Award, but the actor said the group itself was the one worthy of such honors. They are honoring me with a Vanguard Award. But they had to tell me what Vanguard meant, he said with a laugh. I've been affiliated with Cree Help since it started. I honestly believe that Cree Help in one of God's tools to help people. I have watched so many miracles take place. Trejo, who rose from addiction and prison to become a Southern California icon, said he underwent Cree Help's in-depth addition treatment program while an inmate at San Quentin State Prison. When I got out, I just kind of got affiliated with rehabilitation out here. I think that's the only thing that kept me from going back, from using again. Danny led the way in respect to persons who were able to make a name for themselves and change their lives and it was sort of the birth of somebody who was able to make this very public transformation of going from someone who was involved in crime and other avenues and move his way into a completely new life and simultaneously continue to give back to the community and be very vocal about his recovery, said Brandon Fernandez, chief operating officer at Cree Help and a former client. The fundraiser featured a screening of Universal's documentary, Inmate No. 1, The Rise of Danny Trejo, on a 50-foot screen. A beaming Trejo, looking dapper in a tan-colored blazer, a large cross dangling from his neck and a black-and-white fedora perched on his head, worked the crowd and posed for countless pictures. His son, Gilbert, was on hand to congratulate his papa, and present him with the group's inaugural award. Danny usually brings the hospitality, too. Attendees were treated to entrees from Histrejo's Tacos Eateries. Also honored were Cree Help's president, CEO Jack Bernstein and director of client services Marlene Nadel. Cree Help, which has an annual $12 million operating budget with the majority of its revenue currently coming from the county and state, helped reframe addiction to be perceived as a physical illness, not a moral vice or crime and was a pioneer in the concept of drug and alcohol treatment now mirrored around the nation. Since 1971, the nonprofit has helped more than 45,000 people overcome drug and alcohol dependency.